Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to give a quick update on this old Arduino powered um, Hot Wheels track. Uh, it was kind of a two lane track that um, allowed kind of people to race two vehicles or two cars next to one another and it um, timed them and calculated the speed and the winner and it actually would illuminate the, the winner um, lane there. Uh, there was, this was attached to about a nine foot section of, of track with a, a servo that opened uh, to allow the cars to go at the same time. Um, it's since been somewhat dismantled here, but I wanted to go through some of the details of the wiring and coding uh, because a lot of people had been asking about it. So uh, this is my attempt to do that. I apologize that it's it looks like a rat's nest here, but I'll try to step you through how, how it was done. It's pretty simple overall. There's just a lot of uh, repeating the same process because again, we're using several of the same sensors. Again, we have two, two of these uh, IR sensors in the back, um, another two here um, on the front. And again, the point is since we know the distance between them uh, based on our, our scale, um, and we know when each one signals or when each one uh, gets blocked by the car, we can then calculate uh, the detailed speed on uh, the trap speed. So that's the point of that. Um, uh, and then again, we have just two LED, simple LEDs up at the top and then a servo motor back at the start gate. So there's really only, I guess, seven different components here that we're trying to power and, and read data from. Um, but because of the power requirement of the servo, uh, I chose to power that independently. Um, so I actually have two two different USB cables coming off of this here. The one that comes from the Arduino here that is what we're using to transmit the serial and it's also being used to power all of the small sensors that we have on here so the six main sensors and then separately we have another usb cable here that is just um, uh, pigtailed in powering a separate circuit for the uh, servo itself so i've tried to draw a quick diagram here for those interested of how the wires are actually ran i apologize this is not drawn in official <laughs> electrical um, drawing, but it's just tr trying to do a quick and dirty version for those who, of you who are interested. Um, the key point I want to mention here is that uh, on my uh, Uno here, I've shown where the you know the power and ground are coming over to my breadboard, um, and I'm showing you the the circuits on the Uno that I'm using. Those are colored in black. Um, I chose not to show the detail wiring for all of the different IR circuits just because it would get really busy over here and um, you could replicate it. Um, basically, I just duplicated the same logic just over and over as we go down this breadboard. So again, in the interest of, of clarity, I've chosen just to show kind of the detailed button. Uh, again, this button here is shown on the top of the breadboard. That is what actually initiates the servo and starts the, um, the overall timer. Um, and that runs the whole program. Um, and then going down through, again, I'm powering this part of the breadboard off of the UNOS 5-volt um, power and ground circuit. And then on the other side, I am powering it completely independently with just a, a mocked up USB cable um, that I split the wires out and powering the, the plus and minus over there. So um, again, if we, if we look at the back of the breadboard, uh, this, this whole um, parallel here is, is being powered separately uh, than this side. I do have a ground strap going between the two to share uh, the ground, um, but that's the only uh, cross communication. Uh, you'll notice I do have uh, three different resistors in line as well. Um, this resistor up here is for the button logic, um, and then these two resistors here are for the, um, the LEDs on the top, so they're pretty straightforward. Um, otherwise, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other key details. I think that's about it. Um, you'll notice that I am using overall, yeah, pin two, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, and ten. And I will attach the detailed um, Arduino or I, IDE code in the description below for those who are interested. Again, I apologize. It's been about four years since we've ran this and uh, a lot of people have asked questions about the code and I just uh, haven't gotten around to it. So I apologize, but hopefully this is helpful. Please give me a shout if you have any other further questions. Um, I can maybe uh, add some more details if needed. So um, good luck with your projects and I hope you have fun with it. Thanks, bye.